me why they hating on me Maybe cause I got it and they bitches wanna see Tell me why they hating on me What's up everybody, Jade Go here with a new tutorial. I know it's been a long time since so I did one of these. But this tutorial is gonna be on sampling in Edison. Shout out to Icy Cole for the idea. Check them out. Alright, so let's get into it. Uh, first what you want to do is open um, a new FLP and then you go to the scissor icon up here. Uh, by clicking that it automatically opens Edison on the master channel here. As you can see, from this menu right here, the uh, disk image, you just got to click that, go to load sample. Please do not ask me where I get my samples from. I'm going to use this one for the tutorial. Okay, so right now my view, I have it on dual view, but usually when uh, you first open up Edison, it will look like this. To change the view, just click on the eye icon. And uh, I like the dual view so I can see the spectral view, spectral view and the waveform view at the same time. And to zoom in, you want to um, drag, click and drag left to zoom into the waveform. Alright, so the key to sampling something and finding a good loop in Edison is finding the downbeat and then just using this loop button up here to, um, you know, make the loop perfect and make it sound good. I'm about to show you how to do it right now. So, here we go. So I found what I want to use. It starts like right here and ends about here somewhere. I'm gonna play that back. I'm gonna loop it, see how it sounds, and go from there. I'm trying to uh, zoom in like that and how it uh, automatically started scrolling. To disable that, you just click right here. So I think that's decent. You want to learn how to like chop a loop up into uh, several different um, individual chops like with the markers. I'll leave a, a link to a good video on how to do that in Edison in the description. So check that out. But, um, so I got my loop here and now I'm ready to start working with it. So I'm going to drag it into the playlist. Anywhere is fine. Oops. So here's where it automatically came up, and to adjust it to my um, my project, I'll use this time knob here on the channel settings. You can make it however long you want and stretch the timing of it. So this is one bar, two bars, three bars, four bars, and you can go make it however long you want. But the longer you make it, the slower it's going to be. So, I'm gonna make it four bars. I already made like a little drum pattern to go with it just for the tutorial. Not serious. Something real quick and simple. Uh, 
here's another tip. I like to uh, work with like instrumental samples, you know, samples that don't have no drums in it. Now, if you go to your drum pattern here and you can't find your sample, I don't know why it's like that, but uh, how you can open up the uh, channel settings again is just click in the top left of uh, this playlist clip right here and go to the channel settings or click on channel settings and there's a pop up right here so So that's just a quick example on how you can um, do that easily in um, Edison. If you want to get another loop from that same sample, like a different part of the song, to add to your beat, uh, you just open Edison back up again. It will already still be there on the master channel. You just click on it.